In tonight's Consumer Alert, Verizon has confirmed the personal information of 6 million customers was recently leaked online. A cybersecurity company named UpGuard uncovered the issue. They said it was caused by human error. UpGuard alerted Verizon on June 13th, but the security hole was not closed until June 22nd. Verizon said no loss or theft of customer information occurred. Still, UpGuard advises Verizon customers to update their PIN codes and never use the same one twice. Big tech companies, including Facebook, Google and Amazon, are among those participating in a day of action to protest the FCC's plan to end net neutrality. The current rules prohibit internet service providers like cable and phone companies from giving preferential treatment to certain websites. Kenneth Craig reports from New York. Users of Netflix and many other popular websites saw something unusual Wednesday. Take action. It's part of a day of online protest against the FCC's plan to roll back net neutrality rules. The 2015 regulations ensure online service providers treat all websites equally. If we don't have net neutrality, and you start a company that is opposed to something that Comcast is running and is a competitor to something that Time Warner Cable has, they can shut you down. FCC Chairman Ajit Pai told CBS in the spring the Internet thrived before the current rules, which he says also stifle investment. Because those regulations are so prescriptive, many companies, big and small, have told us that they are holding back on investment in their Internet networks. On Capitol Hill, Democrats spoke out against the rollback. The idea that somehow we're not going to have innovation and we're not going to have investment because we have net neutrality is completely bogus. In 2012, major tech companies including Google and Wikipedia led a successful grassroots campaign to kill two anti-piracy bills. Organizers of this day of protest are hoping for similar results. The FCC's website has already received more than 6 million comments on the topic since it announced the proposed changes in April. A final decision could come in a few months. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. Not all big tech companies are taking part in the day of protest. Apple is one high-profile company that is staying on the sidelines. I think Bison fans have one more reason to love Carson Wentz. <laughs> Absolutely. Doing something for everyone else nice. but, and everyone else. He's got a big umbrella with this new foundation that he's uh, launching today. We're going to take a look at what's all underneath that umbrella and hear from the former Bison about the launch of this big moment for him. That's next.